Um, so how does this relate to quantum mechanics? Because quantum mechanics is quantum mechanics is is I cannot I cannot emphasize anymore. It is uh, so far uh, uh, the explanation of of how uh, small particles behave. Small particles, um, um, and by small particles, uh, I, I mean you have you have this word is subject to interpretation. By that I mean subatomic particles, uh, subatomic particles, um, particles such as electrons, particles such as protons. We have don't forget the poor neutral neutrons all these particles and and also ele electrons can be broken down further you know protons can be broken down further neutrons also um, you know we know we, we have heard about you know other other sub subatomic particles like you know quarks um, and neutrinos but that's particle physics uh, you know quantum mechanics uh, overlaps uh, particle physics as well but that's not relevant to this video series, so I'll cover. Um, I'm still studying, um, um, you know, literature on particle physics as I can. Uh, we'll cover those later. But for now, uh, our main goal in chemistry is to understand electrons. And I mean, you may say, why? Why are electrons special? I mean, I mean, protons are not. Protons determine what an atom is. Think about it. Hydrogen. Hydrogen's atomic number. Z being atomic number and X being mass number. So hydrogen's uh, Z is equal to um, it is equal to 1. I mean protons play a crucial role. Protons determine the element. Uh, I will open up a periodic table to uh, show you something interesting. Look who's here. The periodic table the periodic table explains and it summarizes all the elements in the universe. Isn't it beautiful? I know I find this uh, this organization by uh, Mendeleev to be uh, one of I guess uh, one of it should be one of the seven wonders of the uh, of the world because it is uh, so special. Anyways, uh, so we know that atomic numbers uh, and the atomic numbers over here are uh, you know for hydrogen it's one. Uh, for lithium is three, uh, and all these superscripts of in these elements represent the atomic number. An atomic number, as you know, is the number of protons. Atomic number is the number of protons, and um, the uh, um, the mass number uh, equals to uh, the number of protons. Let me let me represent that by p plus neutrons. Uh, mass protons plus neutrons. Atomic number being uh, number of protons only. Uh, number of protons determine the element. The mass number uh, represents the uh, weight of the element in uh, units of atomic mass units in AMU. Uh, for example, sodium has an atomic mass of 22.99 AMU. Uh, or or uh, let's pick up a heavy one. Uh, for example, we have uranium over here, which has a mass number of 23.03 AMU. Uh, now, moving back to... Uh, uh, subatomic particles uh, in chemistry, as I was saying, with electrons, we can um, we can detect the behavior of substances. Why? Because elect valence electrons, uh, valence uh, valence electrons partake um, in chemical bonding and chemical chemical bonding. Um, well, now, now you may ask, what's so special about chemical bonding? 
I mean, we know that, say, we have a simple, simple molecule such as uh, H2, a diatomic molecule, because there are two hydrogens. H2 is hydrogen, and we have one electron here, and the other hydrogen's electrons over here. And if you see, uh, from what we've learned from the Lewis structure, with which this is the Lewis structure, you have a Kekulé structure, a Kekulé structure, a K-E, K Q Lay structure, or I guess a representation or diagram. Um, you have a calculated diagram that shows this bond, but what's so special about it? I mean, do we know how this bond is formed? I mean, w isn't it true that you know, we have been told, hey, this electron electron just comes together and, and you know, arbitrarily a bond is formed? How interesting is that? Not very much. From my, in my opinion, that's not very interesting. Uh, so um, I will see you. I will see you in the next video because that's where the in, in, well, that's where uh, we flesh out the details. We talk about quantum mechanics and its relevance um, and its relevance to valence electrons. Also, its relevance to um, the electron structure and how the electron structure determines how the electron structure determines um, atomic shape, um, which in turn de to determine a shape of a molecule. Shape of a molecule. And if you know the shape of a molecule, you would know its properties. And now, it, and and you know what? It's, it even even gets better. Because once you know its properties, you know to manipulate it. You know how to manipulate it physically. Manipulate, um, physically. And. chemically. That's what all engineers and all chemists do. But, um, you know, nowadays the, the amount of research um, in manipulation is immense. Uh, but, you know, we, we as human beings we focus on manipulation. Uh, not, you know, let's not disregard um, uh, other applications of understanding properties. That's how we can understand how biomolecules, you know, behave within the human body. That's how we can come up with new drugs. We can design new drug delivery systems. We can, you know, only the sky is the limit when you understand properties. Manipulation being one of the key areas of, uh, I guess, uh, capital and financial interest to us. But properties help helps us to understand many things so much that. I think you will be as boggled as I am once you understand those. So I'll see you in the next video. Uh, until then, um, um, you take care. Bye-bye.